Hey guys, Pastor B here. You know, a lot of times I hear the phrase, you can't bring correction to me, that's judging. Look at your past, look at all the mistakes that you've made. Have you ever heard that? Have you ever heard somebody say that when all you're trying to do is reach out to them and help them? Well, you know, the Bible commands us to do that because that's really what love is. If you see somebody heading off a cliff and you don't reach out to them to try to save them, you don't really love them. If you're, if you're, would prefer to just help them along and help them feel good as they're walking off the cliff, that's not really love. You know, the Lord kind of showed me that when we truly love someone the way that God loves someone, then our ultimate goal is to see them in heaven. But the world and society, they only love people enough to see them happy. That's not nearly as much love as the love that we show people. So as Christians, you know, whether, whether they're people involved in sexual immorality or drug addictions or whatever it is, our willingness and our desire to reach out to them and, and tell them that there's a, a destructive end to the end of their road, that's actually God's love. But if we get around them and say we support you in this and we encourage you and we, whatever makes you happy, that's actually not love at all. That's hatred. That's really trying to help destroy someone's eternal life. And I wouldn't hate somebody that much. And if people accuse you or me of hating somebody for that, let them do it because ultimately we're just trying to love them. You know, there's a story in the Bible about a man named Jonah. Jonah was a prophet of God. He was accountable to God as a prophet. And God told him, I want you to go to the to Nineveh. I want you to preach and tell them that destruction is about to come upon them if they don't change their ways. Well, Jonah, he did the exact opposite of what God wanted. He went west when God told him to go east. And then finally, you know the story, after he spent three days in the belly of a fish, he finally went over there and he said, listen guys, pretty soon God's going to bring his wrath upon you and all of you guys are going to die if you don't change your ways. And you know, the, the Ninevites, they had every opportunity to say, well, look at you, Jonah, you're not anybody to tell us what we can do. You're a, you're a prophet of God and you just disobeyed him. You can't judge me. You can't tell me these things. Look at your own life. That's not the, what, the, what the Ninevites said. The Ninevites, they repented of their sins and they knew God was serious. They knew that there was going to be God's wrath that came upon them if they didn't change their ways. So on that day, over 100,000 people got saved because they accepted the message that Jonah brought forth to them. They didn't really worry about the messenger and all his faults. So you as a child of God, you need to bring forth the message. The message is from God. It's not from you. Don't worry about the way that people think about you and your past and your mistakes because if the message is right and you're saving somebody from an eternity spent in hell, then you're truly loving them the way that God wants you to. God bless you.